Hey there gorgeous, hope you're having a great day. Today's video is all about long lost forgotten elf makeup favorites. I'm going to show you a full face of stuff you've probably forgotten about. I'm trying a little bit of a different lighting technique because I don't feel like the eyeshadow has been coming across on camera as beautiful as it is in person. Maybe I'm wrong, but I have a ring light in front of me to see if it makes things a little better. So let me know your thoughts as we go through this today. I already have an eyeshadow primer applied to my eyes. The palette that I'm using today is one that I loved when it first came out. I don't think you can get it anymore, but this is part of e.l.f.'s Mint Melt collection. And this one was called, what was it? Oh my goodness, it's so tiny. Chocolate Mint. And I loved it for this shade right here. So that's gonna be our star eyeshadow for this look. I'm taking this neutral brown to begin with, using that as my crease color today. I already feel like in the viewfinder you can see this better. So I'm hoping that this ring light is going to work out. Next we are blending, taking a blank brush, nothing on it, and going over the edges of that eyeshadow. I'm also going to bring that same color down to the lid, so I'm applying it to the outer third, and then I'm also going to apply it to the inner third. And then I'm taking that mint eyeshadow. I am applying this wet so that I get a stronger application, so I'm spritzing it with the Stay All Day Elf Blue, whatever you call this stuff, this stuff right here. Blue light, it's great stuff, but the blue light thing doesn't matter. And I'm going to apply that directly to the middle of the lid. I waited for that to fully dry and I'm going to go back with a fluffy brush and go along the edges of the eyeshadow to blend it into the brown a little bit better so it diffuses any harsh lines that may have occurred from applying the eyeshadow. And to complete this look, I'm taking this deep brown at the back of the palette. I'm going to apply that wet also and I'm using that as eyeliner. I'm using a powder brow product today. This is one, I think it's the e.l.f. Bite Size Brow Palette, and this is in the shade Auburn. This one right here is such a great shade for my coloring, and I usually apply it with the MAC 263 brush. I've not really used any of the other colors in the palette. It's only been this one, but I love it. And it's so easy to apply it to. Now I'm not, just hold on, I know it's not gonna look like this, I have to blend it, but the way that I typically like to apply powders is to apply them so they look like hair, and then I will just blend it with a spoolie, and get me a spoolie, and go back and blend. Easy, easy, easy. And see, I mean, it's great color match, perfect. I think out of all the brow products I have, powders are my favorite for ease, like how easy they are, but I'm really, really into the ink pen brow medium. That's been my preferred choice. Is there one that you gravitate to? Do you find yourself going for powders, gels, pens, pencil? What do you prefer? I applied some lashes. These are the style Daddy's Girl from my lash line. If you are interested in them, I'll have them listed and linked for you below. I forgot to apply the face products at the beginning. I always like to apply primers and things like that at the start, but we'll just do it now. The e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This is one I came across in the back of my drawer and I had completely forgotten about it, but this is great stuff. It does such a beautiful job of erasing everything. Look at that filter in a bottle, filter in a bottle. Now it's my opinion, based on my experience with it, that it doesn't do the best job in terms of keeping the everything in place. I have oily skin though, so I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a challenge. But in terms of this right here, <laughs> excellent. I am going to add the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. This is one I loved, loved. Ah, can't get it anymore, but they need to bring it back. It was so good. It is still good, it is still good. This is one primer that I can wear that gives me a dewy finish, but it doesn't cause more oil on my skin even though I'm oily. Using the e.l.f. 16, oh, I can't even hold it, 16 hour camo concealer. I'm combining that up today with the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. This still 
is my favorite foundation after all the foundations they have released. I keep going back to this one. I am in the shade 130 Snow and in the Camo Concealer I am Light Peach. Heavy, heavy, heavy pigment with the Camo Concealer. So you don't need much. If you've not used it, I mean, you've used it, right? You know, this stuff is like in your face. What are your thoughts on the hydrating camo concealer as opposed to the original formula? I haven't tried the hydrating one, but for those of you who have, let me know what you think, like how they are. I, I wanna try the hydrating one, but I'm not sure if it would work so well because I mean, this one works and I feel like if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but I still wanna try the hydrating one. And I know, I applied my face products completely backwards today, but it's okay. You're supposed to apply your foundation first, your concealer second, but hey, I'm here to break the rules. This foundation is one of the few drugstore foundations that I don't need a primer with. I can wear nothing underneath it and it looks beautiful at the end of the day as when I first applied it. And there's not many that you can say that about. Not many from an oily girl perspective. Usually you have to apply a primer underneath. This is an old favorite. This was like, whoa, I forgot about this one. The e.l.f. Cream Blush Palette. This is in the shade Soft. I'm going to use, what, is it this shade? No, this one. I'm going to use this one with the e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator Brush. You don't hear this one talked about that much anymore because I feel like the putty blushes and all the new stuff has started to overshadow some of the more classic stuff. But I mean, there's classic products like this that just still stand the test of time. Same can be said for this old powder. <laughs> I love this powder. See, I can't remember the name of the line. It started with a B. That's all I can remember. But I love this for its blurring abilities. It's the most beautiful powder that just looks gorgeous on the skin. I'm in love with the Halo Glow Powder right now. That's my favorite, but uh, yeah, this is old favorite. Look at this. That's just beautiful. Going in with the e.l.f. Forever Sun Kissed Primer Bronzer. This is a, another classic makeup product that has been a long time favorite of mine also. Now that everything's done on the face, I am going to go back with more of the dark brown from that eyeshadow palette and add a little bit to the outer half of that lower lash line. And I'm out of mascara. Not an e.l.f. one. I don't have a favorite e.l.f. mascara. I once liked the, oh, what was it called? Big Mood. I like the Big Mood, but I had to throw mine out recently because it expired, so I haven't replaced it yet. But uh, the Big Mood Waterproof was the one I really wanted to love. But it's horrible. It smudges and smears on me, and for being waterproof, it should not act like that. I also wanted to mention this one, the e.l.f. Bite Size Blush Palette. This is in the shade White Peach. I almost used this one today but then I decided to go with the cream cheek palette. But this is another one that I loved for a while when it first came out. Now for the lips, this pencil right here was my favorite go-to, go-to when the collection first was released. And this was part of the Retro Paradise collection. And this was the lip liner in the shade, you know, Elf never puts the shade names on their products, not usually, so there's no name on it, but it was part of that collection, and I loved it because it was a beautiful nude and a very creamy lip liner. Of course, you can't see because the camera can't focus, but that's the shade of it. So I'll apply that to my lips first here because the lipstick that I want to use is one that's a little too nude for me, but when you mix it with a lip liner, it looks much better, and that's part of their Seriously Satin line. This is in the shade Creme. You know I love this one. Look at how much I love this one. I'm about to fire this camera, let me tell you. Okay, there. See? Yeah, I love this one. And the color is really good when you combine it up with this lip liner. And finally, we'll go back to the Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Mist Setting Spray. Mm. Great stuff. That's one of the few drugstore setting sprays that sets 
the face and keeps it in place all day long. It is better than Urban Decay's All Nighter. All Nighter does not last that long on me, unfortunately. You would think that it would, but no. This one actually outperforms that one by miles. Let me know which brand you want to see next. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more like this in the future. I speak love, peace, and joy unto you and into your home, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.